Hi, everyone. Welcome to yoga. This practice uses the support of a chair. I'll offer a centering on our current moment and add in movement to bring circulation and energy within the body. Let's begin by setting up our space. You'll see that I have a chair here and it's on a non-skid surface. I have a yoga mat just set up with at least two or three of the chair legs on the yoga mat. I have a blanket on my chair for extra padding and support. And I have a small pillow. This is a really nice one that my mom made, you can see. And that will be for lumbar support. And then I have an extra blanket for my feet. So just use whatever you have in your home and take a moment to set up your space and we'll begin together. Depending on the chair that you have, you may want to scooch the pillow around, settle in, see how that feels. And then having um, some support underneath the feet is really nice. So I'm just going to rest my spine into the chair back. My hands are on my thighs and I'm resting my feet into the blanket. And then from here, I'm going to close my eyes. So you can do that if it feels safe and comfortable for you, or you could lower your gaze. We'll take a moment to acknowledge this moment, check in with the state of our mind. Just notice how you're showing up, notice how you're feeling. And take that awareness into the body, perhaps checking in with different areas of the body. You could begin with the front, the sides and the back. Just noticing from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet, the different areas of the body are feeling. And then you could begin to tune inward. I find it helpful to bring a hand to the heart space and a hand to the low belly. Just begin to feel the breath move through the body in an easeful way. Inhale, followed by exhale. And as the breath brings movement into the body, you can begin to notice if there are any areas of sensitivity, any discomfort, perhaps you're dealing with chronic pain or in your various stages of healing within the body. So observe those areas and take a moment to send in some love and care. This practice is meant to be a gentle one. So tune in just as you are. Be guided by your comfort and be guided by your inner wisdom. Perhaps you begin to feel the movement underneath the hands of your breath. Maybe your hands lift as you inhale. Feeling into that expansion of breath. And then as you exhale, feeling into that sinking down quality of hands on heart and belly. Maybe you sink your back further into the pillow that's supporting the low back. Perhaps you soften through your feet and your legs. Just notice if you're holding any tension anywhere in the body, head, the face, and around the mouth and the jaw, shoulders belly. So notice if you could soften a bit more. Connecting to breath, beginning with this natural flow of breath, inhale followed by exhale. Feeling into the rise and fall of your breath. Maybe you can begin to set a pace or a rhythm to your breathing. Inhale, feeling into that inflation, that fullness of breath, and then exhale, letting it all go. 
releasing into this moment. At this point, you may want to shift your breath into a deeper, wider, fuller breath. You could inhale through both nostrils and pull the breath into the back of the throat, feel into the fullness and the lift of the breath in the upper chest. The rib cage may widen. You might even feel the hand and the belly lift as well. And then hold the breath in the body for one, two, three seconds. And then exhale long and slow. And as long as there's no congestion, you could press the breath out through the nostrils. So just feel that warming breath in the upper lip. We'll try that again. Inhale. Feeling into the fullness of the breath and then retaining that breath at the top for one, two, three seconds. And when you're ready to exhale, you have an option to apply gentle pressure with the hand on the belly. Not too much pressure, just a little assist to allow the breath to shift up and out through the nostrils. I'll give you some space to practice that. Inhale again. Holding breath at the top. When you feel ready to exhale, applying gentle pressure with a hand that's over the belly, assisting that breath up and out. We'll enjoy one or two more rounds together here. And as you exhale, you may want to release your hands away from the body. You could place them palm side down onto your thighs and begin to flutter your eyes open if they were closed. We'll begin to pull the spine away from the pillow and the back of the chair and just come into an uplifted lengthened spine. You could roll the shoulders back, maybe settle into the chair seat, making any adjustments. And before we begin any formal movement, I thought I would add in some sweeping and some tapping. I've been bringing this into the practice um, within some of my classes during the week and also in my personal practice. And I've been enjoying it as it feels really good. And it seems to en enliven me, I guess is the word to say, um, like a little cup of coffee that I don't drink anymore. Um, so I'll just show you here. We'll extend the arms out in front, palms down towards the floor, and we'll just begin by bringing the right hand over the left arm and sweep upwards towards the shoulder and then down again towards the hand. So I'll start in slow motion here, just bringing the sweeping motion up towards the shoulder and then down towards the hand. And then we'll try that on the other side, towards the shoulder and then down towards the hand. And then we can alternate sides again and get the underside of the arm. Switching sides, getting to the underside of the arm. And then bringing the right hand to the left shoulder, we can do this diagonal sweep across the torso to the right hip. Sweep that away. Do that again. Same on the other side, so left hand comes to that right shoulder across the torso to the left hip, sweep that away. And maybe just sweep across the belly and a few horizontal movements here. And then bring the hands to the thighs, sweeping down towards the knees and then maybe towards the lower parts of the legs and then drawing that energy back upward. So you could get the tops of the legs here, sides, the insides, the backs of the legs behind the knees, behind the thighs, and then moving the hands to the low back, you could sweep away here. Bring the hands up to the head, just sweep from the crown of the head to the back of the neck, 
to the upper part of the back, the shoulders. When you feel complete, you can rest the hands on the thighs and take a moment, notice how you feel. In addition to sweeping, I've been adding in some tapping and how I've been doing that is just creating loose fists with my hands. So I, I allow my thumbs to be on the outside of my fingers. So I'm just creating loose fists here. And then I'm starting with one side of the body. So I'll bring my right hand over towards the left side. I'm going to extend my left arm and just begin to tap instead of sweep. Just tapping up and down, getting the underside of the arm, tapping in and around the armpit. Some gentle pressure here, switching to the other side, underside of the arm, getting into the armpit. Very helpful for accessing the touch receptors of the body. Increasing circulation, there's a lot of capillaries in and around and under the skin, as well as lymphatic vessels. We're trying that tapping along the torso, a diagonal fashion, maybe across the belly, maybe up through the center. Heart space, just below the ribs, below belly. Maybe moving up to the back of the neck, behind the back of the head, taking a moment here around the jaw. And then moving down towards the low body. So again, the thighs, you can get the outside of the calves, the inside, inside of the thighs, outside of the thighs. The low back. In and around the groin area. Maybe focusing on one side with both hands and then the other. Just some light tapping here, changing up sensation. When you feel complete, we'll rise back up, readjust your seat, soften that lower back into the support of your pillow. Enjoy your breath in and your breath out. So this practice of gentle observation without judgment, just notice, noticing how you're showing up, how you're feeling as you shift, as you change things up. And from here, we'll drop the chin down towards the chest and then begin to rock the head and neck from side to side. So I'm just going to move through these half moon circles, right ear towards right shoulder, back towards the center line of my chest, and then left ear to left shoulder. And I'm going to rock from side to side. So the pace that I'm moving at may not be the pace that you want to move at. So tune into your needs, move as you like. Beginning movement here in and around the head and the neck. Option to bring the head and neck into a full circle. That's calling to you. Up and around. Maybe pausing in the center and then shifting direction. And then taking a moment, chin to chest, and then drawing the head and neck back up in line with the spine. From here, I'm going to remove some of the props as I'm moving into a more active seat. So pillow, I'm going to shift out, and I'm also going to move this blanket. So I'm going to sit on the edge of my chair so I can firmly plant my feet down onto the floor. Uplift through the spine, perhaps roll the shoulders back and down. 
taking a moment here, pressing the hands onto the thighs. I'm going to slide my hands forward and then shift my hips forward and then slide my hands back as I shift my hips back. So begin to rock forward and back. You could add in some circles here as the hands slide forward. You could circle the torso around. Pressing the palms down into the thighs. You could shift in one direction and then change the direction of those circles. And then we'll come back up through center here. From here, we'll bring the hands to the back of the head. So I'm just going to press my fingers towards the back of the head, not interlacing my hands at all, and have the elbows extending outwards away from the center line of the body. And then I'm going to lift my gaze up towards the ceiling or where the wall meets the ceiling, find a lift or an extension to the spine, and then slowly rounding, flexing the spine forward, perhaps even tucking the chin bringing the elbows in towards the ears. We'll try a few rounds just like that. Lift, extend the spine, round forward, tucking chin to chest. We'll pause here with the elbows open, and then we'll begin to add some twists. So planting the feet down, pressing feet into the floor, and then we'll twist to the right. Coming back through center, twist to the left. So as we alternate sides, again, you may want to adjust your pacing for the comfort of your own body. Moving side to side, noticing where your breath is. You could make this movement a little more fluid as you just rotate from side to side. And then bringing back the elbows and the spine to center, we'll release the hands, extend them out towards the sides of your space, rotate through the wrists, one direction and then the other. And then we'll open up the palms to the ceiling, reach the arms up towards the ceiling, perhaps find a breath into the body here. And then exhale and release the arms down. We'll do that two more times. Seated sun breath, inhaling arms come up, reaching towards the ceiling or gaze may follow here as you release the arms and then lift them back up again. Next time the arms are lifted up towards the ceiling, we'll have a moment where we could release the right arm down towards the chair, or you could hold on to that right hip, and then we'll lift up and over with that left arm towards the right, pressing into the feet, enjoying a full round of breath here, through the left side body. And then we'll release that right hand, bring it back up to meet the left, Left arm will come down, either holding onto the chair or holding onto that left hip, and then right arm reaches over towards the left. Full round of breath here. As you release the left hand, bringing that back up towards the right, you can begin to alternate sides. So coming into your side bend, right and left. Staying active through the low part of the body, allowing your feet to be that grounding presence, rooting you 
into the floor. We'll meet both arms up overhead. Find a moment here where you could roll the shoulders back and down, create a little bit of a bend in those elbows, and then reach back slightly with your thumbs. Find a lift or an extension to the spine. Full breath in. And then long breath out. You could release the arms forward, hinging at the hips and then bringing the arms down towards the legs. Any amount here, you could allow the arms to dangle. You could hold opposite elbows, tuck the chin towards the chest and just shake the head to the right and to the left. The belly may fall onto the thighs here. It's just folding forward, finding some release in the spine. And then slowly we'll press into the feet and then lift up through the torso. And we'll do that one more time. So reaching arms up, your breath may come into the body here. And then as you release the arms alongside the body, you could exhale, hinge the hips forward, release the arms down near the low body. Again, option to hold opposite elbows or just allow the arms to dangle, shift and sway. Releasing the breath completely. Pressing into the feet, maybe taking the arms and the hands, sliding them up along the low part of the body and move and shift to an uplifted spine here. Let's begin to access through the lower part of the body here. So I'm just gonna rotate my feet a little bit closer together, readjust my seat here, and then lifting up through this right foot. So I have my right hand and my right thigh and I'm going to push my right hand into the right thigh and then right thigh into the right hand. So I'm resisting this movement, creating an activation through my belly and back muscles as well as that right leg. And then I'm gonna lower that down and try the left side. So lifting up through the left foot and then having that action where we press the left hand into the left thigh, left thigh into the left hand. And then we can begin to alternate. So lifting and lowering right side and then left side, adding that resistance in thigh into hand, hand into thigh. The next time that we have the right leg lifted, we'll hold here. And then shift the right hand to the outside of the right thigh and then press the thigh into the hand, hand into thigh here. Bring it back to the middle and then we'll bring that right hand to the inner part of the thigh and then draw that right leg inward towards the center line of your body as you resist with the right hand. Hold for a moment. Release that right leg and we'll try that with the left side. So lifting up the left leg, left hand on the outside of the left thigh and then press that left thigh into the hand. Holding for a moment. And then bringing the left hand to the inner part of the thigh and then pressing inward. So thigh into the hand, hand into the thigh, holding for a moment. and release. From here, we'll lift up through that right leg again. And then you could interlace your fingers here and support the right knee in front, underneath, or you could just hold the right thigh with both hands and we'll draw that right knee in towards the right side of the body. So enjoy a few moments of breath here. I'm going to just soften through that right foot Pulling that right thigh or right knee in towards the side body. And then we'll release that right side. 
and take that left leg up. See how you would like to support the left knee here, either in front of the knee, underneath, or just holding sides of that left leg. We'll draw the left knee in towards the left side body. Do a few rounds of breath here. And release. From here, we could do a few rocking motions forward and back, adding in those hip circles, maybe pressing the hands into the thighs and allowing the elbows to extend out away from the center line of your body, changing the direction here, the circles. And coming back up through center, we'll begin by lifting up this right leg again. This time we're going to start to draw circles with the right ankle. So I'm just moving around one direction and then I'll pause and shift direction here. Ankle circles on the right side. You may hear some clicking. I've got some clicking going on with that right ankle. I'm just loosening up the smaller joints of the body. And then holding that right leg up, we'll pause the movement with the ankle circles and begin to press the toes down towards the floor and then up towards the ceiling. So just working that foot press down and then up. All the while holding that right leg up. If you want a little extra challenge, you could press that right hand into the thigh, thigh into the right hand to add a little extra effort, engaging through the back and belly muscles as well. And then we'll begin to hinge through that right knee. So pause the movement with the foot and begin to draw that right foot in and then extend that right foot out. So moving from knee flexion into leg extension. You could release some pressure from the right hand into the right thigh or you could add some, your choice. After a few repetitions, I'm going to pause with that right leg extended, pushing out through the right heel, hold, and then slowly lower that right heel down towards the floor. So I'm keeping my right toes lifted up towards the ceiling. And then from here, I'm going to uplift through my spine, open up through the palms, reach the arms up towards the ceiling, find a breath into the body here, and then I'll exhale and hinge the hips forward and just have both arms on either side of this right leg. And then I'll do a few repetitions here, lifting up, pushing into that left foot, and then exhale, releasing the arms alongside that right leg. I'm not counting repetitions here. I'm just going with feel. I feel complete. So I'm going to reach those arms up overhead and then release the arms alongside my body and then slide this right leg in to meet the left. Make adjustments in the seat here. And then I'll lift up through that left leg. So from here, we're just going to start with those ankle circles, moving in one direction with the left ankle and then rotating in the opposite direction. We'll pause that movement, the left ankle, and then we'll begin to press the toes down towards the floor and then bring the toes up towards the ceiling. So some foot presses here, pumping through the back of the leg. Allowing the breath to move through the body. Inhale, followed by exhale. 
We'll pause that movement and then begin the hinging through the knee. So drawing that left foot in, bending through the left knee, and then extending that left leg out. So moving through a few repetitions here. Again, I have that left hand on the left thigh. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just applying a little bit of pressure here. Not necessary, your choice. And then I will hold on this left leg, extending out, pushing out through the left heel, holding for a moment here, perhaps for a round of breath. And then lowering that left heel down towards the floor. So keeping the left toes up towards the ceiling, pressing down through this right foot. I'm going to open up my hands now alongside the body, palms lifted, and then reach those arms up. Full breath in here, and then I'll hinge forward at the hips and allow the arms to be on either side of this left leg. As I exhale, release the arms, and then lift them back up again, inhaling. So I'm just moving at a pace that may not feel right for you, so adjust accordingly. Listen to your body. Flow at your own comfort. I'll do a few more here. Move until you feel balanced. I'm going to reach the arms up overhead and then release the arms alongside the body. Slide this left leg in to meet the right. Take a moment here to toe heel my feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, readjust the seat. I'm going to press my hands towards the thighs, but have the fingers towards the inner thighs. And then I'm hinging forward here. I'm going to drop my right shoulder down through center of the legs, coming back up, and then left shoulder down through center of the legs, coming back up. So alternating sides here. Coming back up, maybe rolling the shoulders. One direction and then rotating. I'll pause here and just walk the feet in a little bit so I feel a little more steady in my seat. And then I'm going to reach my arms out in front of me, palms down towards the floor. And then I'm going to pull the shoulders and the elbows back and then lift the arms up into cactus arms. So holding here for a moment, breath in, and breath out. I'm going to do that two more times. So reaching the arms forward, it's a slight round to the shoulders. And then as I pull back, elbows bend, and then I'm reaching the hands up towards the ceiling, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Breath in and breath out. Holding here for one round of breath. And exhale, releasing the hands onto the thighs. Again, I'm going to just bring my feet a little closer together. And then from here, I'm going to find my props again. So I have this blanket that I folded up. It was a really nice support underneath my feet. And then I have this pillow that my mom made. I'm going to tuck that in behind my low back. Lean back a little bit into my supports. Rest my hands onto my thighs. Have a moment here, lowering the gaze or closing the eyes. And if it feel, felt safe and comfortable for you, you could bring that hand to the low belly again and one hand to the upper part of the chest. And you might be able to feel your heart rate, your breathing rate, just tuning inward and noticing. Noticing the increased circulation in the body, maybe a shift in how you're feeling. 
while you're showing up. Enjoy a moment to check in with the state of your mind now. Just being that observer in a non judgmental way. Finding presence in sensation, presence in the breath. Enjoy a few more rounds of ease, full natural flow of breath here. As our heart rate settles, breathing rate settles. We allow the body time to come back to that equilibrium. So every moment of the day, whether we're awake or whether we're asleep, our cells are constantly finding balance. It's called homeostasis in the body. It's the goal at all times. So finding this moment to tune in, that beautiful process that happens whether we know it or not. As you begin to feel your heart rate and your breathing rate lower, we'll have the option here to release the hands. You can bring them back to your thighs. Sink your spine into your supports. See if you can soften a bit more through the feet, through the legs. Feel the belly and the back. Releasing any tension through the shoulders and the arms, the head and the neck face. At this point, I will gently guide a few hand positions. So I'd like to share the practice of Reiki, which is sending positive intention, healing and care through the hands. You could follow along with me or you could just imagine your hands in these places. I'm going to bring the right hand up to the right side of the head, and then I'll do the same with the left side. Left hand to the left side of the head. I'm just going to allow my palms to rest on the sides of my head. Fingertips may touch towards the crown of the head. Soften through the shoulders and the elbows. Your choice on how much pressure you want to apply here with your hands. Sometimes I like to do a little squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Pressing through the fingertip pads. Breathing in and breathing out. We could switch the hands here. So the left hand is on the back of the head. Right hand is on the forehead. And what I like to do here is a little efforting through the head and neck. I press my forehead into my right hand, and then I press the back of my head into the left hand, alternating forward and then back. And then I like to switch hands. So now the left hand's on the forehead and the right hand's on the back of the head. And just shift again forward and back. A subtle movement in and through the head and the neck. And then pausing at the top with both hands stacked upon another, you could press down through the crown of the head. As you release the hands back down into the lap or on your thighs, you may still feel the presence of your hands on your head. Just noticing the back of your body, sides of your body, the front of your body, noticing your body in space. As you breathe in and out, a 
or may become aware of your senses. If your eyes are closed, you might still sense light coming in through windows, coming in through the lamps. You can hear the sounds inside your space and the sounds outside the space. You can hear the movement of the world outside, cars going by. And bringing that awareness to your body, again to your skin. Noticing the textures of the clothing on your skin, maybe the temperature of the air. And then turning into that combination of scent and taste, maybe noticing any smells in the space that you're in. Maybe you have some lingering tastes from a meal or from brushing your teeth. And if it felt good to you, you could place a hand towards the heart space again and one hand on the soft part of your belly. Take a moment to ask yourself, what does my heart need in this moment? Whatever arises for you, allow it to sink in and settle. Notice what it feels like to bring in some kindness and care into your day. Take a moment to thank yourself for showing up, breath, movement, and these moments of quiet meditation and mindfulness. So I hope you enjoyed this practice and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Thanks for joining.